Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's solve the problem combination sum 2. So this is a for, uh, second problem of the combination sum series. I have already video on combination sum and combination sum 3. So if you haven't solved the combination sum problem, before attempting this problem, I will recommend to solve that problem first. Because if you solve that problem, you will easily solve this problem. There is a bit, little bit changes as compared to that problem. So let's uh, understand the problem. What is the problem? Given a collection of candidate number candidates and a target number target, find all unique combinations in candidates where the candidate number sums to the target. So each number in candidates may only be used once. So this is a change here. We can use only once in the combination sum. We can use multiple times. So all the numbers including target will be positive integer and the solution set must not contain duplicate combination. So we don't have to return the duplicate combination as well. So this is the example one. So let's understand over here. So for solving this, first of all, we will sort the candidates array so that we can easily take the decision. So now after sorting, this will become 1, 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 10. Now, if I start picking this index, so for starting, we will loop a helper method and start from the 0th index. We will start picking this. So first, if I pick this one, then I will move to the next index. So if I pick the one, so the solution array will contain the one and the remaining target will become 7 minus 8 minus 1, which is 7 and index will be 1. So here, this is a second, the third number is for tracking the index. So then we can pick the another one. This will become here uh, 1, 1 and the sum will be the target remain will be 6, 7 minus 1, 6 and this will come 2 or we can do from here itself. We skip the second one and we will do the 1, 1 and then we instead of 1, we will pick the 2. So this will become the I have our array and then next element the target remain will be 7 minus 2 which will become the 5 and next index from here we will pass the i plus 1. The current i we are processing is 2 so this will become like this. Similarly from here we can select 2 now 1 1 2 and the remaining target will become 6 minus 2 which is 4 and the index is 3 and we can also again go here select skip the 2 and select the 5 or so this will become 1 1 2 is not selecting now we are selecting 5 if we select 5 this will be the our temporary list and the target will left 1 and this index will be 4 and we can also select from here 6 instead of 5 so 1 1 we will try all the possible combinations if I select this this will become 0 and the remaining will be 0 and the index will be the next number will be 5. So if you see this is the case is one of the our solution case where the combination sum is becoming the equals to the target as we reach the this 0 this will become the target. So this is the first case then what we can do from here if I select the 6 in this so this will become the combinate target 5 6 but the sum will become the the target remaining will be negative which is minus 5 hence from there we can't get any solution so we will backtrack from this solution so this is the case we will start like remove this element and try for other and so on then we will go back and so on this is the way is the recursive tree will come up and whenever we reach to the negative this is our one of the waste case we will backtrack from there return there will be no solution after that or when if the remaining the target remaining will become zero then that is the one of the solution but now here we have to deal with the case where we get the duplicate solution like one solution from this numbers we can get one comma seven pair by starting this another solution we can get from another one which will be one comma seven again and we have to remove this duplicate one so how we can remove the duplicate pairs so one of the solution we will use the hash set to store our list of combinations list of combinations so that that will be automatically removed and all the elements we are selecting as after sorting the array in the increasing order. So all the element in the list will go in sorted way. So this is the way to remove the duplicate. Otherwise it is very similar. So let's quickly implement the code. So for the code part, we need a one, let's say we will take the first set, then the list and then integer. So this will be our, let's say, uh, result called and initialize from the hash set. 
now we will <coughs> call our backtrack method that will do all the recursion call and try for this and before calling this method we will first sort the uh, our candidate arrays arrays dot sort this candidates array and then we will pass this into the method and also we will pass a start index from the zero and then one temporary list new array list that will be called as a path we are selecting the branch or something and we will also pass the result and we need we need to pass target the current target so that we will use for the, our best case so this is the case and in the end we will uh, return new array list we will convert the set of list into the list of list using this new list of uh, result so this will be the return answer now let's implement our helper method backtrack which will be return type void and backtrack so this will get the candidate array let's sort and with the candidate can and then the enter start index and enter target and the list of integer as a let it call list itself and the set list of integer and this let it call it as result so this will be the method signature now we will check the base cases if target becomes less than zero then we just return from here there will be no solution if target equals to zero then we have that solution we will add that uh, list into our result set result at new array list of list copy from that current list and then we will try all the possible combination starting from the start to go till can dot length i plus plus and then here first we will add the current element into the list so list dot add kind of i once we added this then we will call for the all other and here we will pass can i plus one because we don't have to use the duplicate so i plus one and we will subtract target from the selected number which is can kind of i and same list and result will be as it is once it done and once we get not once the, uh, we tried all the possible way from the one branch we will remove that from the list so we will backtrack from here so list dot remove uh, list dot size minus one the last element because the last element on the index minus size minus one so this is the recursive implementation so let's compile the code and see if it is working so it is working and we are getting so the order doesn't matter so it's fine we are getting all the combinations so hence we can try to submit this code and see and it is accepted now what is the time complexity so at every moment we can select the number or skip the number so hence there are two options and we have two number two to the power n is the time complexity which is exponential time complexity and in worst case this branch can have all the numbers so the space complexity in worst case uh, other than the recursive call stack it's o of n so this is the solution if you like my solution hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for the future upcoming video thanks for watching